we are here at the premises of the regional minister to get a proper insight as to what he wants us to be doing thank you very much welcome to the city news thank you right so we know that when the president was lifting the lockdown he gave us some safety measures that we must follow now the regional coordinating council greater Accra, has also come out with its own strict measures that we have to comply honorable brief us on what you want us to be doing now we met yesterday in the afternoon um, and some decisions were taken. They accepted first the present directive that people should be wearing face masks and then have this or go by this protocol of uh, uh, social distancing. That was accepted. But then they, they, they modified it to suit our situation in the region. And uh, that is that wearing of face mask is mandatory. And that uh, uh, this social distancing should also be enforced. Well, enforcement of that sometimes become a little problem with some, like at the car parks and other places. So, but we feel that if the uh, face mask is used, that will solve part of the problem of the social distancing. Uh, so that decision was taken that it is going to be mandatory for everybody in the greater Accra region who is coming to a public location or public space to wear a face mask. Now, are they the people who are going to buy the face mask or we are going to provide a face mask? We believe that if you have to lose your life and you are spending between one city to five cities to buy a face mask, it shouldn't be a problem for you. But then there are some people who cannot afford that one city, two city. So we have asked the district assemblies to provide for those people they can see them, the, the vulnerable ones, they should provide the distance for them. So people who deliberately flout the laws, what's going to happen to them, the protocols, what will happen to them? Well, the same thing that was happening when the president came up with the executive instrument we apply. Mm. So that means arrest and prosecution? Uh, well, if it is seriously against the law, then we'll do so. But I think people should be made to suffer, especially when we are talking of uh, uh, wearing of face mask. If you are coming to my office and you don't want to wear face mask, we, we send you away. So whatever you want to come and do, you will not be able to do it. I think that is enough punishment for you to go away. But what will happen to the people that he meets on the way? Because everyone is also important. Yes, the policemen, uh, the police uh, this in commanders have told us that they are going to, to, to make sure if you go and join a truck or a, a public transport and you are not wearing face masks, they, they will ask you to alight and then walk back to your house. And that will be enough punishment. Mm, right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Honorable. Thank you too. <laughs> right, so I've been talking to the Greater Accra Regional Minister, um, Honorable Ishmael Ashite, and you heard him quite clear that from now on, the strict adherence to safety measures are in force and anybody who does not comply with these directives will be dealt with and so you may want to save yourself the harassment and just obey simple rules you're still watching city newsroom on city tv